Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome to our first and perhaps only episode. <laughs> Maybe of, first and last, right? Right. <laughs> of Let's Talk About It. Unless you really like it. In and which case, we'll, we'll do it again. Tyler would love to do more of these types of shows with food involved. The, yeah, anything with food is better. Anything. Any but, type of food, really. So what this Except show, vegetables. Right. Vegetables aren't food. That's <laughs> Not <just> vegetables. <laughs> vegetables is what my food eats. <laughs> Sorry. I have, I have an 18-month-old son. Leave me alone. <laughs> This is going great. I haven't even gotten to my tagline yet. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Well, let's talk about it. it is a show where we talk about stuff and then we taco bite stuff. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, it's, For the record. It's not going to get any better from here. Tyler created this show. Yeah. And Rick went with it. I, yeah. He had a chance. For the record, show. I. <laughs> <did not. laughs> this might come into play later on in some questions, actually. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna, thing we're going to do in our show is we're going to talk about stuff. Uh, so I have some fun questions for us to ask so that the mm. uh, church can get to know you a little bit better. <laughs> like, or just so that we can talk about random stuff. Just random stuff. To prepare yeah. for eating tacos. To prepare for eating yep. tacos. So first, what is the best thing that you have watched since all this crazy stuff started? <laughs> your, your favorite entertainment favorite, experience. Favorite entertainment experience. Oh, man, that's, you know, we when we first started going through this, I think this was a common question because everybody was kind of mm-hmm. quarantined, stay at home. So people started to more, you know, watch streaming services and different shows and stuff because you really didn't have a whole lot else to do. Um, gosh, what what has been my favorite? So, so I just wrapped, <laughs> this is fun. So I just wrapped up a show on Netflix. Um, I'm more of your, I like the documentaries, the, the reality shows, but not the reality shows of drama and families, but more like following people in their profession or something like that. And so there's a show, there's a show out there on Netflix called Aussie Road Truckers, and it's about uh, truck drivers in Australia. Okay. And it's, it was fascinating just what they have to, uh, to go through and, and, what they can do as truck drivers compared to what here in the states, what we uh, the laws, the different types of laws, they can have. They have these things called road trains, where they'll put like three tractor trailers connected together, and that's what they're pulling behind their semi. That seems safe. That right. I mean, <laughs> and they're not, and not all of their roads or highways are paved, so it's a lot of dirt roads that they're driving all this cargo and stuff on. Wow. And that's so again. Yeah. That's going to tell you how weird I guess I am. <laughs> I just, yeah. I was so kind of disappointed last night because I finished, the, there's three seasons, and I watched the final episode last night, and I was uh, kind of sad because <laughs> there wasn't any more seasons. And who knows if they'll ever produce more of those shows. Right. So, I, oh, another, here's another one for you. <laughs> this is good. Uh, there's a show called The Casketeers, and it's about a funeral home director in New Zealand. And so there's a couple episodes uh, or a couple of seasons on Netflix where they just follow kind of him and his staff around, you know, doing funeral home, doing funerals, right? And to learn about the, the memorial services and the way that families go through the grieving in the morning um, in that culture, again, fascinating to me because they don't – it's so different than what we do here. And yeah. so, you know, and unfortunately, God's called us into a place where we we are a part of that in people's lives where someone passes away and we're involved in the funeral, the memorial service. And so I guess being connected to that personally, then watching a show about somewhere else on earth that, that the, they go through that, but how they mourn and how families mourn and – they have their different rituals and dances, and it's just yeah. it was a really cool show. I how, was very, very entertained by that show, too. Yeah, how other cultures approach mourning is fascinating. Yeah, absolutely. It's, a, it's a very absolutely. interesting process. Very different than ours yeah. a lot of times. So, <laughs> so that's what uh, – okay. those are two of the – one of two of my favorite little shows that I've watched recently. Nice. Yeah. That's fun. I've never even heard of – Again, of those. I'm, I'm educating people, and people are like, <laughs> that guy, he's weird. <laughs> I, I think they might have known that. Yeah, well, right. true. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's All really right. Fair. All right. Next one for you. Um, something that you never thought that you would do or say. 
that this you have show. now done or said. This oh, show. This, okay. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. This show. I never thought I would do a show online called Let's Taco About It um, and Eat Tacos. That's, uh, that's fair. Something that I never thought uh, that I do, well, what I'm doing, uh, ministry. Um, and I've shared that in my testimony before that there was, <clears throat> there was, I can't, there was no point in my past where I ever perceived or thought that I would be, you know, this was never a, a pathway or a trajectory of my life that I ever saw coming. Um, so really, as I would tell my testimony, it's truly a, a work of God for the position in the place that I'm in, vocational ministry. So I would certainly say this is something that I would have never seen myself doing. Um, there's probably a lot of things that I never would have thought of saying. <laughs> That's what I really want to know. What's something that you said that you never thought you would say? <laughs> mm. I never thought I would uh, perform a wedding during a global pandemic, and I've yeah. done two of those since this whole thing started. Um, so that's a first. That was yeah. uh, very new, something to go on the resume. Yeah, I think it's going to get real sure. long with all those things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Into page five. I never thought I would talk about a global pandemic. So there's something I never thought I would say, you know, those things. Yeah. Uh, there's probably a lot within the current situation that we could say we never thought we would say or or do. Um, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Very fair. All right. So what is the weirdest question that you have been asked or one of the weirdest questions that you've been asked in your life? That one. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I... This is, I know there's been weird questions throughout. Uh, I would say not to have a specific question that I can call to mind, but I can say that being in ministry has certainly put me in places and in conversations where the weirdest questions have come up. Yeah. You know, I mean, there, you know, and. As you're a, a te- if you teach the Bible and you you know you communicate the scriptures and stuff and and you there are there are weird things in scripture you know we've said that over and over that there are things that are hard to hard to understand hard to comprehend and, and hard to believe just because we no. you know, it, you just don't see them and and but they're there and we we do believe in them but um, because of that I think that produces some of those weird a lot of the que- I think the weird questions you know would probably come around in times apocalyptic you know those you know revelation those types of um areas is Reading probably around for weird questions yeah i think that's a lot of them or or some of the uh, more obscure old testament passages or and or places that you might get some weird questions and stuff and and it and usually it's it's speculation or it's yeah. conjecture. It's like, you know, what do you think? You, here's what it says. But what do you think is happening, you know, yeah. elsewhere or around it and stuff? And so um, can't remember anything super specific. Probably n- not a weird question, but I, you know, probably one of the most offensive questions that's been asked is how they let me in ministry. So that one. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. That was early on. That was pretty. Uh, kind of took me back like i didn't know how to respond to that i think there's um, like a universal gatekeeper yeah like, i don't know <laughs> you gotta just, pass a certain test to be allowed they in. just came right out and said how did anybody let you be in ministry they weren't really happy with me so um nice. i didn't have a response actually because uh, i to i kind of had that question myself sometimes <laughs> how did anybody let me in ministry so oh, but that wasn't deep. really a weird question it was just more of an offensive well, question it's mean-spirited yeah it's so, not fun yeah all right so let's go to let's uh a less not fun question than that. <laughs> one thing that uh, through all this situation, pandemic and all that going on, w- is there one thing that you would hope to see change? Uh, that when we get on the other side of this, you're going like, man, this would be really cool if this was different. Yeah, I mean, I think we've said for a while, for the last five months or six months, you know, um, hopefully what God can redeem through some of this is maybe a more humble spirit to realize that, you know, there's a there's a lot of people trying to figure out answers. There's a lot of people trying to figure out, you know, the next steps, the next direction, the next, you know, what to do next. And, and in order for us to really see transformation or change, there's got to be this humility, this, this understanding that, you know, 
not no one really has there's only one person who has all the answers right, right. and and we're not him no. but when we pretend to be him then then things get really sideways and messy and even more chaotic than what they really are and so i think we've said from from the start that if god could redeem a more humble posture a more hu- uh, uh, a humility within us um to to really just listen pay attention you know um think before you speak th- those types of postures and things that we might see a, a more transformed you know community and 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 world through this process because we we as a society around the world have moved into a place that none of us had ever experienced before and so right. hopefully we've learned through this is that it takes time to navigate through this and we've got to you know be humble and and listen and pay attention and be you know willing to to hear what others are saying about that as we kind of work through this together that there would be more of a uni- a unification than there yeah. would be a division and i think I don't know if we're getting there or not, but I think if there's one thing that I would hope and pray for, it would be more of that than than the other. Yeah, so that's great. Yeah. All right. Well, those are my, my personal questions. <laughs> now we're going to move into— I wondered how long we would make it with those types of questions hey, before we got into questions that involved eating there tacos. There were several questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I tried to them. answer them as fast as I could for mm, you. So I, that I appreciate that. You're always so thoughtful. I know how important— <laughs> Food and eating food is mm. to your um, just all I'm thinking quality about right of now. life. Yeah, um, it's all you're thinking <laughs> about, right? No, notice that he's asking me the questions and I'm not asking him questions, and that's because that if I was asking him questions with food sitting in front of him, he would not be able to answer um, real coherently. What? <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So round two is taco trivia. Taco trivia. And in taco trivia. I have 10 questions that I'm going to ask, and there are 10 tacos on this table. For every question you get right, these are Bible trivia questions. Every question you get right, you get a taco. Every question you get wrong, I get a taco. So I found the most difficult questions I could find. And you have to eat the taco. <laughs> At least while eat one taco. Here. Yes. Or, or maybe or not more. eat all of them. That or or eat all of them. So I, do I get the ability to change the game as we go? No. I'm yes. in charge of this game. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, that worked well for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number one. So we're going to test Rick's Bible trivia knowledge based on my selection of his challenging, difficult questions yeah. that I can find. Not- notice, notice the game, though. If I get one right, I get a taco. If I get one wrong, he gets a taco. Right. So take that into account as you hear these questions. Yeah. If he doesn't get any of them right, that's by design. Uh, <laughs> and, and tension. So. Yes. We're going to see. And if, how well and if Tyler that. wins all 10 tacos, he's promised to eat all of them in front of you. I, I have no point have made that promise <laughs> or claim <laughs> or acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So question number one. What insect did John the Baptist eat in the desert? Locusts. Oh, he got it. Rick is a taco. It's the only one I'm getting right Ooh, from here on out. That is the softball question that I started off with just to give you a sense of confidence. <clears throat> Who was the first disciple called by Jesus? Oh, you are you for real? Mm-hmm. What you gonna ask me? I don't know. I, I knew the answers to all these. <laughs> <laughs> but I wrote them down. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Matthew. Andrew. Yeah. This one's good. Just gonna set this here for enjoyment. <clears throat> Who recognized baby Jesus as the Messiah in the temple? It's a priest, I'll make it easier. <laughs> What's the name of the priest? See, here's the thing. I want to throw all these questions because I want to eat you, <laughs> watch you eat these. I want to see what you know. Zacchaeus. I can steal your Simeon. I know. I'm going to do it anyways. Zac- I know. Right now? Got, yes. He didn't eat his. He got right. Yeah, because I'm the lead pastor. Uh, <laughs> that's my card I'm playing. I'm going to eat this one. I'm going to get this one ready while I ask you the next question. But, but also, I've noticed these tacos don't have... What I would put on these tacos. Why are these tacos designed for what Tyler eats what on tacos? Put, what would you put on these tacos? Well, I would have got a Supreme taco that would have had tomatoes and sour cream and all the good stuff. Why does this only have meat and cheese? I didn't order the tacos. I feel like you gave the order for the tacos. I said if you put vegetables on them, <laughs> I would you so, so, yeah. so you actually made these tacos just for you anyways. No. So you need to be the, eating these tacos. What is the island that Paul was shipwrecked on? How do I eat this without making a bunch of noise? 
Hawaii. Okay. <laughs> no. Patmos. Are these no. Really guesses? I don't feel like you're really guessing. I don't feel like you're taking this game seriously. I don't know how you could take a taco trivia game unseriously. But you are doing it. I, I I just love the fact that you're being so gentle with eating these tacos and stuff. I've well, there's watched, a microphone right here. I don't know I've watched you eat before, and there's no way that taco would still be sitting there on the wrapper. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to answer your question with a serious answer. I did. Hawaii. That's not a serious Is that answer. wrong? Maybe he moved around and hit Hawaii. This is not going the way I envisioned it. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> thought we were going to do fun questions, not Bible questions. But we did the fun questions. Mm. That's what this card was. Fun questions. I thought about doing taco questions, but that seemed like it would be weird. Ask, let's, let's change the questions up. Okay. What are we doing? Ask me a different question. <laughs> From my list or just a random question? Just a random question. Not that Bible questions aren't important. They are right. important. No, just throw out all of our order and system. <laughs> the, hey, it's taco yeah. about it, so we can taco Things about whatever. Weird. <laughs> but there's still taco sitting in front of you. Take a, come on, eat, eat some more. You what kind of sauce questions. did you put on there? I put hot sauce on there because I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wouldn't ever eat this taco because it doesn't have on it what I believe it needs to have on it for it to be a real taco. Maybe they're they're different. They're not different. You told him to get. I heard. I was told that you you gave specific instructions to get tacos without any type of vegetable. Vegetables are weird. (laughs) All right. Question. Give me a category for a question. Uh narrow it down. Oh gosh. Sports. What team did Tom Brady get traded to or go to? The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Mm, you win a taco. I do win a taco. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As also Gronkowski. <laughs> yeah, no. How crazy is that? I think, just, just, I think he was just, just waiting. Yeah, he was just waiting to get away from him. Just waiting. Win. Let's go food as the category. If you had to eat one meal. For the rest of your life, what would it be? It would certainly not be tacos without anything on them. There is meat and cheese, which is everything. No, you need. no. Uh, <gasps> really? Two chicken tacos. We just got told there's two chicken tacos in the taco grouping here. If there was one food I, I, I could only eat the rest of my life, what would it be? Venison. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I just followed down the wrong thing. <laughs> It'd be venison. How about you? Mm. Either pad thai or buffalo wings. Well, that is two really far <laughs> opposite ends of the spectrum. I, it feels you know what? Like. It, would be bad. it would be pad thai. It would be beef pad thai. No <laughs> peanut. Peanut does not belong on pad thai. I know that culturally it does, but I don't like it. <laughs> so. These are definitely the best comments we've gotten. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, ASMR taco session um, for chewing in the microphone. <laughs> Erica Edwards got Malta oh. correct. Yeah, that's my you girl. Take her taco home. Yeah, I will take her this. Does home she like tacos home. with nothing on them too? These have things on them. They're not. Oh, this one's chicken right here. Here's your chicken taco. The, these are tacos that that like a five year old would eat. I think <laughs> these are not adult tacos. Look, tacos. there's nothing on that taco. They're standard tacos. That's chicken. <laughs> I know it's chicken, but there's nothing else. What do you want on there? All the vegetables and sour cream and all question, that stuff. The island question, right, that you didn't get? I'm, I'm very proud of her. I That's thought right. it was Hawaii. You did not think it was Hawaii. You were lying. Right. Some pad of the best comments, though. Beef pad thai. See, let's taco about it. Mm. Like, really taco good. about it. It's hard to say. I don't feel like it is. I feel like you just keep trying to say the A, and there's not an A. I know. <laughs> I want to say the A. Taco about it. Like, it's in my head to want to say the <laughs> A. Taco. Can't say talk about it. Talk about it. Talk, talk taco about, about it. Taco, taco about like it. Like, I want to pronounce the taco all the way and then try to finish it out. Yeah, you and it, it just doesn't work. I, like uh, a, my brain's struggling with it's that. Like a mashup song. Um, <laughs> see? It should have peppers on it. See all this stuff? If, look, if this is what real tacos it, look I'd like. I'd be fine with it. I told Tom he could put jalapenos on there, all but right. he didn't. Where is Tom? Tom needs to come eat one of these Tom tacos. He's gonna come steal one. Is he? 
Tyler, pad thai, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. with no peanuts, though. No, no peanuts. What's one dessert you would eat the rest of your life? Mounds pie. Mounds pie. What if you do like a, a chocolate graham cracker crust, coconut cream pie with chocolate in it. Who makes a mounds? Does Erica make a mounds My pie? Mom makes mounds pie. Erica has made one. Your mom sent. She sent me the recipe for mounds pie. Yeah. I have it. No, oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> I would eat that. Like I would become engorged on that. Like, on mounds like, pie. Add hundreds of pounds wow. to my body. Because I can't say no to it. It's like a guilty pleasure kind of thing. Ju Justin, what what food? Justin is producing for us today, guys. What food? If you could only eat one food the rest of your life, what food would it be? Uh, Indian red curry. Indian red curry. Indian red curry. Wow. Very. That's kind of a general name for it, but there's more specific. Gotcha. Yeah. You and Tyler got the, the really cultural. I went straight. <laughs> West Virginian, give me the, <laughs> give me, give me the deer meat. Uh, I love venison. Yeah, uh, I'd probably have to put vegetables with it though. You don't have that option now. You just pick venison. <laughs> you pick something that doesn't have vegetables. Now you're stuck with it. You grabbing? Did you get another question right? Are you grabbing another topic? I don't know. I feel like I might have. So I'm, I'm holding on. Is Tom out there? No. Might be. Is Tom go. coming in? The door. Tom's gonna come in. Hey Tom, come get a taco. Did you run over here? I can't breathe. <laughs> I earned this taco. <laughs> Did you have the right answer? Yeah, every time. Let's let's Did you? let's ask more questions. Get your questions. You we'll ask questions the questions? audience. We'll ask. Okay. And we'll I, send I, you I a taco. Already cheated. Okay. Oh, we'll ask yeah, we'll we'll ask those who are watching, and we'll send you a taco. We we we'll probably won't do that part because I'm going to eat them. But uh, <laughs> if you put in your comments, we will smile. At we'll them we'll you. send you something. I got Did you? <laughs> Tom got the chicken one. He's They're very only happy. Two. <laughs> He's very happy. The other one's right here. <laughs> All right, so, yes, the correct answer to what island Paul was shipwrecked on was Malta. I heard you had some really hard questions. Uh, like, we'll very hard we'll questions. Um, I mean, Andrew's a little bit of a, a tricky one because it's very – it's mentioned very briefly. Shortest book in the New Testament. Uh, Philemon. Actually, no. I would have thought is it was it Jude? Too. Second John. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it's sneaky short, like yeah. right there between the two. Like it's how many verses? It's, it's like twelve or something. Yeah, it's that very is small because Philemon's like it's like how is this like a letter? This is like 15? a small post-it note. Yeah, but uh, it's a Holy Spirit second John. Note. We need to do a series on John's. We did John. Now we need to do first, second, and third John. It's like a four-week series. Well, first John's got five chapters. So in the way you five. set up verse, you know, like you're going to do 10 verses in 25 minutes. Yeah. You gave me how many weeks I could do. Well, anyway, so it's, it's an internal conversation. Mm, right. In, in which case, the takeaway is I'm right and Rick is right. Did anybody get it right? Um, there was a bit, wait, that was, bit uh, of a delay. It hasn't showed up yet. I see. We'll, we'll give it a more of a pause and I'll eat a taco between each question. <laughs> so give it some time. That'll be yeah, you could eat a taco in three bites. I don't think anyone attempted that one. Okay. Next question. What tribe is Paul from? Tribe is Paul from? It was actually covered in our study in Philippians. So, Did you cover it? Mm -hmm. These are why you're making up these questions, because you've already studied them. No, I just know them. Gosh. It, There's only 12 options. So I know. Man, I don't. Gosh. I should know. If nothing comes to mind. My mind went blank. What is it? The tribe of Benjamin. Oh. Old Benny. Good old Benny. The Benny tribe. Yep. Like Big Ben in England. Same tribe. Benjamin. Tribe Probably of Benjamin. Next. All right. Next question. Who does Mary, who, from whom does Mary learn of her pregnancy? I keep, I keep wanting to just always answer with Zacchaeus. <coughs> that wee little man had a big role, didn't he? <laughs> I just feel like he was all, he doesn't get enough play in, in, in teaching in scripture. What was the question again? Sorry. <laughs> Who told Mary she was pregnant? Oh, and we have a, we have a guess. Brian Cunningham guesses Gabriel. And she guesses right. She wins a taco. Leading to the follow-up question, how many angels are specifically named? 
in Scripture. That's not actually in this, but there's a fun little trivia fact. How many other named angels are there in Scripture, people? Hmm. You would know this. Yeah, I do. That's why I asked it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't write it down. I just asked. Hmm. Named angels in Scripture. Wow. Okay. It has to be give not me, very many. Give me five more seconds to see if somebody answers that. It just came through. Okay. There, ha- there can't be that many, right? There are not. Has to be less than ten. There are less than ten. Okay, we got a guess for two. So Carrie close. guessed seven. Too many. Big, Big Eli Nutter guessed two. That's Tom, close. like me yesterday, guessed three. Three is correct. Good job, Tom. Gabriel. Is Tom's still out there wanting another taco. <laughs> Gabriel, Michael, and Lucifer are the three named angels. Ooh, That's look great. at you. Look at you. Mm-hmm. All right, that was just a bonus question. Bonus question. Mm-hmm. Stephen, in Acts chapter 7, is the first Christian what? Martyr. Ooh, that's it. Don't guess too quickly. Rick, give it away. I wanted to say... No, I'll wait. Zacchaeus. I'll, 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 <laughs> Stephen was the very first Zacchaeus. <laughs> but he changed his name. <laughs> You know why Zacchaeus is on my mind? Because I'm studying for this weekend, and in the commentary that I'm reading in, he, the commentator starts off with going in depth. We're in Philippians 4, the last half of Philippians 4. We're finishing this book, right? And the commentator that I'm reading, in the commentary that I'm reading, he spends three pages talking about Zacchaeus, and he's connecting it to Philippians 4. So it's it's all in my head like that's I just keep wanting to throw Zach because he that's all I've been reading for like, he's just, everywhere I'm like how's how we doing like when I first started and he started talking about Zacchaeus and I'm like wait did I did this commentary move like did did am they I the wrong book? am I in the wrong <laughs> book here I was very thrown off so it's kind of re it's rattled my brain a little bit I just figured you saw Tom and Tom's really short and that triggered Zacchaeus Zacchaeus is, short, is Tom's, Tom's favorite person in the Bible right you got another one he's the, like the third shortest person in the Bible. <laughs> Second shortest person is uh, Uriah. He was a shoe height. <laughs> right? That's good. You got a good old smile out of this. Dude, the, four, the first shortest person in the Bible is the soldier who fell asleep on his watch. <laughs> I went to Bible college. We got all the dumb jokes. <laughs> This this show this, this show will probably never come back. We'll probably nope. never That's have another let's class. talk. I did open with that ta- taco. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> I still want to say taco, taco about, about it. it. Taco <laughs> ab- taco about it. All right, here's one. This is this is a real a money question. If you can get this, who is the high priest that put Jesus on trial? This taco is very broken. It starts with a... Mm, I'm going to wait. We'll see what anybody says. Erica doesn't understand how you can eat all these because lunch wasn't that long ago. (laughs) We've been married for how many years? (laughs) This is the best. (laughs) That might be the best comment we've ever had on any of these shows. When your wife starts throwing you under the table for your eating... How many tacos is that so far? Well, Tom took one, and There's I ate the rest. Okay. Still going. Working on it. <clears throat> I think we need to have an eating contest with you, and only you, <laughs> actually. You against yourself. I feel good about my odds. What, what's, uh, let's see if anybody put the answer in there. Anybody guess? What was the high priest that put Jesus on oh, trial? Oh, Jesse Cochran guess uh, Caiaphas. Well done. Wow. Way to go, Jesse. Jesse Fantastic. Cochran gets uh, yeah. gets a taco. Nice answer. Way to way to put that in there. Philosophical taco, not a <laughs> real life taco. I'm gonna eat that. If we try to send one of these tacos to you, it'd just be an empty wrapper because <laughs> Tyler, will, empty wrapper. <laughs> Tyler will Tyler will be eating all of them. But it is in fact Caiaphas. Caiaphas was the Jewish high priest. Caiaphas was the Roman selected high priest. So in Jesus' time, there were actually two high priests, one installed by the Roman regime and another that was selected by the Jewish people. Good job. Yeah. Good job. That's extra nerd right there. Yeah. You, you, you've went all like uh, 
really, really Bible college nerd on us. And Absolutely. If, when you bring it, tacos out. <laughs> is this what I think, happens? I think the last time I ate Taco Bell was legitimately in college. <laughs> <laughs> So it's bringing out that. You're loving it right now, though, aren't you? It's got a lot of nostalgia coming out. Uh, yeah, it feels like it feels like being young again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the last question I've written down, and then I'll just have to start making them up if I want to keep going. Where was Jesus' first sermon? We'll wait and see if our, our very, very smart and biblically literate uh, viewing audience can give us an answer. <laughs> As you, they're all. I don't. I think Tom crushed them on purpose. <laughs> they're all shattered. As shells. you go for another one, I'll I'll try to repeat the question for you. <laughs> what was it? Where was Jesus' first sermon? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's funny. But it's really that's really kind of a a general answer. A little bit, yeah. Mount of Olives, Jesse Cochran's guess. Yep, I think that's right. Yes. Oh, Sermon on the Mount, yep. Yeah, you put on the mount. <laughs> so we would accept anything that has the words on the and mount. <laughs> that's correct. Jesse wins a second empty wrapper. <laughs> Way to go, Jesse. You might get a bonus pack of four <laughs> empty wrappers. You might get extra empty wrappers. Maybe we'll send whatever leftover salsas are, are there. And, uh, guessed Hawaii, so. Yeah, Hawaii. And Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was on Hawaii. That's where the uh, dinner party was. Oh, my gosh. We have devolved into utter chaos. That's so good. so I told you why Zacchaeus is on my brain. And now uh, Hawaii is on my brain because, you know, Wanting to do some type of vacation at some point in the future, just having a conversation with my wife, you know, the last week or so. and I feel like Hawaii should never be that far from anyone's brain. Right. I mean. It's like thinking about it as therapy. So I just, you know, it's, it's a long shot, but hey, it's fun, right? So we, should we kind of close this out, <laughs> wrap this thing up? Yeah, let's do that. While I'm not eating you, you want me to do that while you're – you just keep eating. I, I got this. This is good. I did the opening. You do the closing. <laughs> hey, My work here's done. Hey, guys, thanks for uh, hanging out with us on Let's Talk About It. Talk, talk about it. There, I think I got it. Talk about it. I got it right when we never do this again. So, <laughs> hey, we'll see you next time. <laughs> thanks, guys.